The first thing we create in Final Cut Pro for a production is an event. But what exactly is an event? Well, as you can see here in the event library, it's a container that holds a collection of clips. Let's go out to the finder and take a look at the nuts and bolts of an event. On all hard drives that Final Cut Pro stores events on, it will make a folder called Final Cut Events. Inside this folder, it makes subfolders, one for each event you create inside of Final Cut. Each unique event folder is named with the name of that event, obviously, and it has a small little database inside of it. This database is called current version .fcp event. This holds all of the metadata that you add after importing to all the assets inside of that specific event, just as we talked about in the previous lesson. This tracks all the assets that are referenced in the original media folder, all the data Final Cut gathered during any analysis processes, uh, render files, and things like that. Inside the original media folder are either the original media files you imported or links to the originals if you did not specify for them to be copied to the events folder. When you create a project on a specific hard drive, Final Cut creates a folder on that hard drive called Final Cut Projects. Just like with events, subfolders will be created for each individual project you create on that drive inside of Final Cut. In each subfolder is another mini database called current version.fcp project. There's something really important to be aware of with these little database systems. The individual events catalog and track the media assets in its own collection. The individual project databases do not track individual media assets, but they only track individual events. A project talks to events. The events talk to media assets. That's important to remember. So now that we've covered the basic nuts and bolts of how all this works under the hood, how do we put it all together to create a media management system that will make life easy for us? And how do we keep it healthy? Well, that's a good question. And we'll be getting to that next.